Voilà, qu'un petit jour ça vous So today we are in the, the Ras Al Khaimah district, which is an hour north from Dubai with car. But this is a famous holiday resort. So we're staying over the long weekend over Easter and enjoying uh, some downtime from work. Here we have the, the big marina. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than a Dubai marina. <laughs> But you can feel it here in the environment as well, that it's more calm. But like it's a nice environment to just relax and just come down. And... Yeah, it's so quiet. And the water is really, really beautiful. It's like super blue. No camping, no fishing. We just arrived to the island next to ours, where we're staying. And this is a public beach. Looks nice, there's not that many people here. Yeah, I think they're, they're building so much here. So the construction has just started. It's only villas that have been moved in here. And the water is, it's so blue. It's like the Mediterranean. We're actually not staying in Ras Al Khaimah itself, the city. It's actually 20, 25 minutes north from here. So we're just a bit south in a place called Mina Al Arab. This is a newly developed region. These islands and, uh, and the hotels here. It's very nice. We're staying at the Intercontinental where they let us borrow these bikes. We're gonna check it out fully. It's very convenient when you want to explore the area around here. Um, and just south of here is another island, 50 minutes well called Mayan Islands, which is where they're gonna build a new casino area and they just launched a uh, win hotel there from the Vegas. It's opening up in a few years. That's it's gonna, gonna be crazy. <laughs> gonna be crazy. I think this area is gonna be even more popular when they when they open that up. Yeah, and it's gonna be a holiday resort. Yeah, we can see like it's a lot of German here, UK, Russians. A lot of people flying in for Easter break. Yeah, it's totally full, the whole hotel. Yeah. So it's... This is gonna be their new holiday destination for the UAE. But it's easy, like you can take a fly like five, six hours and then you come to really nice weather. The water is super blue and clear and the, the beaches are really nice. Good service, time difference not too bad. Yeah, if you compare this to Gran Canaria, like Canary Airlines, Islands, then this is so much nicer. This is the life. Time for breaking. allowed to uh, take the bikes down by the, the beach. Breaking the law. <laughs> been bad. Now we're down by the by the beach at the hotel. A little bit of waves today. A little windy. Ocean breeze. Oh, you can see the color of the, the water here. We're gonna stay by the pool. Yeah, too much sand on the beach. <laughs> too much sand on the beach. 
it's a big problem. This is the pool area, the hotel. Um, Can't tell here is very mixed. It's, uh, surprisingly many uh, Europeans overall. It seems to be a lot of like all inclusive, kind of poor high and all inclusive kids. A lot of families, um, a lot of people with small children. Right, so we're probably the odd uh, <laughs> couple in the group here. But uh, yeah, it's I mean it's a five star resort, so the amenities are exceptional uh for my taste i think it's a little bit too many people it's a little bit too big uh these days we prefer smaller hotels a little bit more boutique right but for a weekend it's, it's perfect to build just to to relax Little room tour. Yeah, here's the walk-in closet. And here is the lovely bathroom with a bathtub, some shower, toilet. And that's kind of nice. You can have a bath here and have the ocean view. But you can also close this if you need some more privacy. You have the bed. The magic is happening. The seating area, the desk. It's perfect. Get the the sunset. So you can lie here and enjoy the sunset. Yeah, look at that color. Paradise. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, best part of the day, sunset uh, with some uh, crisps, right on the balcony. Yeah. It's uh, always the best, regardless of where, we, where you are. Um, yeah, so we're just going to enjoy it before we head down for some uh, dinner here. I'm going to try out the, the restaurant here in the hotel tonight. Yeah, we were searching and this was one of the best ones here in Rasselkind. So yeah. we had to try it out. Yeah, we thought it was going to be like a nice small town, Rasselkind, like a beautiful old town. But it doesn't really feel like that when we try to look up. Yeah, when we did the research, it looks like it's a port city with mainly malls. So maybe it's better just to enjoy the beach, enjoy the nice sun here, mm. and just try to chill a bit for once. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see if we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Spin. Spin. Oh, yeah. Heading out for dinner. Good morning. Morning. We just had a session with a tennis. <laughs> it was a long time. Yeah. Uh, we played too much paddle, <laughs> so we forgot all the yeah how to play tennis. Yeah, we were terrible. Yeah. But we became a little better. In yeah, the end. exactly. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how your best friend is gonna come out. Of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be a pro though. Ah uh, no. We're too late. Ah! <laughs> no, it's too late. That ship has sailed. Wow. 
What animal? She's good. Zebra. <laughs> So we're staying at the, the famous Intercontinental Hotel chain, and this is a massive hotel. Uh, yeah, got, I don't know how many rooms it is, but it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and it's newly built, and I think they have three pools, four restaurants, one cafe, one cafe, and a big gym, tennis courts, two kids clubs, um, a little supermarket, even big spa. Yeah, so it's basically made for you know so you can just stay here all the time you don't have to leave and we realized that when we uh, moved around here that people don't leave at the hotel they yeah. even have like saunas which is just exactly we normally try different restaurants in in the area but <laughs> there's no. not that much going on no, no. Here, you're so. supposed to stay here um no but it also seems to be a big uh, kind of like all-inclusive crowd so um yeah 50 percent approximately are here for probably all inclusive with the drinks and everything, but it's not like the rowdy, uh, all-inclusive that you would find in uh, in some areas of Spain, you know, with uh, with the Brits. So um, it's a little bit more classy here and uh, very family-friendly. Yeah, a lot of family. It's, yeah, it's it's nice. It's calm. It's it's good. Yeah, to just get into a relaxed mode. Yeah, and even which we kind of need it. Yeah, we needed it. Uh, and even if there's a lot of kids here, I mean, there's still it's not too crazy, you know. Someone's crying eventually, but it's not really disturbing anyone, so... And the rooms is really big as well, a big balcony. All the rooms have the sea views, which could be hard to find as well. Mm. And there's no rooms without sea view, so... Uh, but we're not doing the all-inclusive package. Uh, we do... Uh, we try to mix it a little bit with a la carte. We're not too much into the, the french fries and, and the hot dogs here uh, <laughs> in the buffet. Probably looks good on the pictures, this little egg here, but it's, it's basically impossible to <laughs> to sit in it normally. So what do you think about this hotel? Yeah, I enjoy it a lot, but I think for us, uh, we're leaving tomorrow. I think that's enough, like four days, three nights or something, four nights? Four nights. Yeah, it's enough for us. I, I wouldn't stay here any longer, but I think people who are like trying to escape work and just if you have kids with you, you know, staying here a week, just all inclusive, I get that. But for a little weekend retreat, uh, for people in Dubai, it's, it's perfect. Like, you don't have anything else to do here and just relax, so. Uh, get away from the chaotic environment. Yeah, and the traffic and the noise and everything. So uh, I started to feel it today more and more relaxed. Oh, you know, fell asleep on the, <laughs> the sun chair and and all that so we haven't spent too much time here on the beach <laughs> just checked it out before we prefer the pool but yeah you see the sand this is not natural sand i guess this is important it's very nice super white, <laughs> super white. <laughs> so up here you have the the club intercontinental for the people members i think they get some extra privileges to have their own pool. Get a little pre-drink, breakfast and stuff like that. So it's more adults only. And down there you have the, the villas. So they also have like villas you can stay in. These are the best ones, direct beach access. That's pretty cool. And you got one of the restaurants out there, the Turkish, Turkish restaurant. But. So as you can get the sense of the, the area, it's, it's enormous, it's big. 
But if you want something secluded and just want to have no children or anything like that uh, disturbing you, the club access should be, uh, should be the one. Golden hour views. The sunset. The sunset in this country. It's incredible. incredible. This vacation is over now and it's time to head back to Dubai. I hope you like this video and if you do, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!